What's going on guys? Derek here from DerekBennett.com. If this is your first time here, welcome to the site or welcome to the YouTube channel. You could be watching it there as well. If you are, go ahead over to the website DerekBennett.com. Submit your email address. You don't want to miss out on everything we got coming up every single week. You'll get notified of all the lessons, all the exercises, everything. So you don't want to miss that. If you're returning, you know what we do here. Grab your base. Let's get started. Hey guys, just wanted to come to you with a real quick lesson on two octave scales or how to approach two octave scales or even extended scales. You can think about it that way too. In this case, I'll be in the key of A major. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can play uh, two octave scales. There's several different ways you can play that. I'll show you the way I approach that and I the way that I play them. Um, and I'll show you why after I'm finished. So here, here's the first part. One more time, just a little slower. Cool. Not too hard, right? Not too, not too crazy. So that's the fingering for ascending this scale. There's a certain fingering for that, and there's a different fingering for also descending this scale. So I'll show you that. I'll show you both ways afterwards. Here's descending. One more time, just a little slower. Okay, first off, if you don't know the major scale, it might be best if you go learn the major scale first. I have a few videos on major scales and major arpeggios and, and triads, so go check that out on the website. So, with this scale, this two octave scale, I'm in the key of A, so the fingering for this is going to be first finger we start that off with, okay? Third finger plays the next note, a whole step. Fourth finger plays the next note, was that which is the C sharp it also slides up to the D okay so let's do that again we have one three four four so we're sliding that okay the next string is going to be the same exact fingering and the same exact spacing so let's figure that out so we have a B C sharp D next your first finger should land right on that E for the next note of the scale. Third finger, F sharp. Fourth finger, G sharp. It slides up to the A. So two of the same exact fingerings in the, the same exact positionings. We're just moving it a whole step uh, forward. So again, That's one octave of the scale, okay? The next note, the next note, you sh your finger should land, your first finger should land right there on the B. Okay, so for this string, it's gonna be a little bit different. First finger plays that note, the B. Next finger plays, the third finger plays the C sharp. Fourth finger plays that D. Then it shifts a whole step up to the E. Okay, so let's try that one more time. The D string. We'll play B, first finger, C sharp, third finger, D, fourth finger, slide with the fourth finger to E. Next string, on the G string, your next finger should land right there as well. So your next finger should land right on the F sharp, the next note of the A major scale. Third finger should land right on the G sharp. And then guess what? 
your fourth finger should land right on that A. So all together, we'll do it slow. One, three, four, four, one, three, four, four, one, three, four, four, one, three, four. Very simple. You're not even using your second finger for this for this scale. So it kind of glides right along with each other. So it kind of flows right into the next note. So it makes it easier. It makes it a smoother transition uh, with playing a two octave scale. So we got that. Take that part slow, piece by piece, string by string. You can do that as well. Next part, let's descend this scale, okay? So we'll start at the top on, uh, with the A, with the high A. So the way we come down, we descend the scale. We play four, three, one, four, two, one. Now we slide with the first finger down to the B. So let's do let's do that much. So we have. Next note, your pinky should land right on the A, the next note of the scale. Okay, so let's do that much. Next note, three. Third finger plays that right next to each other. First finger plays the next note. Slide again with your first finger. All right, so we'll take it, we'll take it slow. Slide with the first, fourth, three, one, slide with the first, guess what, four, three, one, guess what we're going to do at the end, slide with the first finger. Alright, so it, it makes a little bit more, so it's a little bit more comfortable for me to, to, to go down that way and to position it that way with the fingering. Um, it's a little bit different, you know, ascending than descending, but it works. It works. You can try it out and see if it works for you. So let's try it one more time. Go ahead and, and descend all the way down. <laughs> you have a slide or a shift with your first finger when you descend. We shift with the first finger. Going up, we shift with the fourth finger. All right, so pretty simple. So when you play the scale, when you ascend, you're gonna shift with your fourth finger. When you descend, you're gonna shift back with your first finger, okay? So pretty simple. All right, one more time, all together. All right, there it is. So guys, as I always say, take this slow, take each section slow, section it off if you have to, and play each line or each string separately, loop that if you have to, uh, make this thing transition very smoothly so it doesn't seem like you're sliding or shifting um, when you're playing the scale, okay? Make sure the notes are clean, make sure the notes come out, make sure each note has its own value, very important. Until next time, I'll see you later.